made in Blue Springs. Strange lights in the night sky that some are calling UFOs. Neighbors say they've seen these lights for weeks now. KCTV5's Dave Jordan is there live. And Dave, you've seen them with your own eyes? I did, Brad. I was out here for the past two nights looking at these uh, strange lights in the sky. Neighbors, as you said, said they've been seeing them off and on for several weeks now. Now, nobody knows where these lights are coming from or what's bringing them out, but they're now the subject of an investigation by a UFO watch group. Oh, that flickered pretty bright, too. This is the topic of discussion sure tonight in a quiet suburban Blue Springs community, multicolored orbs hovering in the sky. Robert Cover first noticed it two weeks ago and went to get a closer look. He was confronted by a neighbor who thought he was spying on women until he handed her his binoculars. So I showed her the um, star that was in the sky just to get somebody else's perspective on it and they had said that they'd never seen anything like it before. It's like vibrating lights, red, green, and blue. And it's nothing I've ever seen before. And with their binoculars, we could see fairly well, but still it was, you know, off in the distance. I can barely see some color. Teresa Price saw it as well, at least twice. The same night Becky and Robert did, and again when she was walking her dogs the following week. This time, things were even more bizarre. It was up in the sky and just dropped, you know, how many feet, I don't know, but it just dropped and then stayed stationary in that lower position. Teresa had seen our recent news report on domestic drones that are now being used by local governments and law enforcement agencies. She thought that's what it was. It kind of made me think about that. It's like, okay, is this some sort of a drone that's out there for why it's out at night? I don't know. Robert called the KCTV5 investigative hotline and posted a sighting on a UFO spotter's website. The night of our interview, we spotted similar sightings. This is the enhanced video of what we saw. Robert was contacted by Margie Kay with the Missouri UFO Network. She decided to investigate for herself the following night. Kay interviewed everyone who claimed to have seen the UFOs and then set up telescopes to watch the sightings herself. Neighbors came out hoping to see similar activity that captivated the community. As the sky darkened, one of them appeared, but Kay initially dismissed it. Well, I'm 90% certain that we're looking at Vega in this instance and that uh, there are, you know, some other planets out right now. But she came to a different conclusion after others started appearing. Oh, right there. And after she put in a call to a colleague in another part of the state to take a closer look at what she thought was Vega, that person described it as pure white. That's not what we're seeing. We're seeing some colors in this. Um, I see red and green in this one, and in this one behind me, I see um, red, green, and blue. I don't think it's a planet. Uh, at this point, I don't know what it is. It's unidentified. And so it goes. Now, we contacted Blue Springs Police. They tell us they have not heard any reports of such sightings. We also contacted the FAA. The FAA referred us to NORAD. NORAD told us that they did hear of a report about a similar sighting, but they're still working to determine whether that report came out of Missouri. We'll keep you posted. We're live tonight in Blue Springs. Dave Jordan, KCTV 5 News.